That's Adam Berman, motorsports enthusiast and cinematographer extraordinaire. Adam shooting our Pro 3 documentary film and giving me some advice. This is an historic race, 60th anniversary of Pacific Raceways, 50th anniversary of IRDC, 148 entries in seven groups with 50 cars on track in Group 1, including 21 Pro 3s. Right in front of me, look at Coley Tipton take off. Saturday afternoon, race one. Coley, a runner-up in his Pro 3 rookie season, is starting at the back because his IRDC president duties didn't allow him time to qualify. From nearly last, he'll finish second, closing fast on Kevin Doyle. I'm even further back because my new window net got caught in my shoulder harness floor bracket. Don't ask. And because I'm slow. Hey, look at all those cars. My first mistake, letting the gray Spec E46 get by. This runner did well. Or am I just that slow? Don't go there. Second mistake, letting the blue E46 by. Another runner. They're faster on the straights, but can hold us up in the twisties. Unless you know what you're doing. I obviously don't. I'll be stuck behind the two almost the whole race. Same old story. Catch them in the corners, lose them on the straights. Lap 6. Lee Storgard and Will Kellogg have a little contact and are off at turn 8. Two down, 18 to go. Next lap, I close on Tim O'Donnell, who bought Bob Mearns' old car. Tim sold me my first Pro 3 car Oscar back in 2009. He returned to Pro 3 racing a couple years ago. Yeah, he still knows how to drive. Damn it. A decent exit out of 3B and I start to make a move, but back off. Gama Aguilar suggested I lift throttle at 5A instead of shifting to 5th and back to 4th. Here's my tip. Instead of going way right to set up for turn 6, straight line it through here. It's uphill and the pavement really holds. Don't trust me? Tim locks up and I still can't get by. The E46 gets wheels off and does a tank slap. That could have ended badly. Will he let me by? I gave him the look. Here comes a swarm of E46s. Former Pro 3 champ Sean Northrup and Andrew Newell. And former Pro 3 driver all the way from Florida, Jason V. Second to last lap, Tim O'Donnell and I danced through turn eight. Last lap, last chance, but I chicken out. Be nice. I finished 16th of 21 with a 139.5, four tenths off my best ever, but I feel like I'm out for a Sunday cruise and vow to do better Sunday. As former Pro 3, National Mustang Challenge, and now E46 driver, Ricky Bobby Edwards blows by. Beautiful new Pro 3 flag from David Weller. Great, Carl Seeger's truck is blocking my paddock. Then a traffic jam. A steward, don't want to hit those. Nick Carbaugh's lawn chair, and my helmet blower hopes. The paddock is fraught with dangers. That's Mike Olson, everyone's favorite former Pro 3 driver, today driving the pace car. Sunday morning qualifying, Mikey's here to help. The Pro 3 film crew shooting aerials should be an incentive. Yellow flag, after just one lap, Win Tao Huang parks it at the exit of 5B. That will slow things down. Lap four, I point by Pete Bristow, and who wouldn't? He's the nicest, most considerate race car driver you'd ever want to meet. Wish they were all like that. Most are. Didn't take long to get the wrecker out. Here come the fast boys. Jeff McCaffrey, always a charger. Bill Ecker, IRDC chief driving instructor and co-author of the Pro 3 line in Zoom Folga magazine. Glad to see Bill back after his run-in with Bryce Scott at PIR. Sure wish I could get close enough to draft him. There's fast and there's fast. Kevin Big Deal Doyle. Kevin qualified second with a 135.8. Coley Tipton was first with an incredible 134.995. I'm 12th of 22 with 138.6. Six tenths faster than I've ever run here. Nick Carbaugh said I was killing it, punching way above my weight. I think that's a compliment. Sunday's points race, gridded right behind Bryce Scott, ahead of my old nemesis, Beef Wellington. Beef's a great guy, but he's a former fighter pilot who definitely covers his six. Look at all those cars. Wearing my glasses, I can actually see them. As usual, Beef gets a great start. At turn one, Lee Storgard charges by. You know how at the grocery store you pick the short line and it seldom pans out? I follow the Porsche, third mistake. That lets the E36 renter by. Andrew Mitchell's not far behind. I try to make it a drag race to 5A, but chicken out. 
and Eddie Terrace is all over me. End of lap one, all within shouting distance, but Eddie's getting by outside. Eddie backs off. I lift to avoid the Porsche. Now I just have to repass Andrew, Lee Storgard, and that E46. Lap three, this ground pounder kicks dirt and gravel at his puny opponent. Now he's someone else's problem. We bunch up, but uphill, that E46 has some juice. I catch up to Lee and he's blowing smoke. Hopefully he's down on power. Lots of guys would pull right here and cut you off. Not Lee, he's a true gentleman racer. And thanks to that, I hold Eddie off inside. Lee's still smoking and slowing down some. We dance through turns eight and nine. With Lee and I playing monkey and doorknob, ask Wes Hill what that means, Eddie's got me back in his sights. Just watching this, I flinch. Next lap, Eddie's all over me, darting right, trying everything to get by. Then back left, but I hold him off one more time. Eddie makes a great run down the straight and pulls right to overtake, but Will Kellogg, suffering mechanical problems, blocks Eddie's attempt. It's good to be lucky. Eddie's right there. I give him a point by and resign myself to my fate. It's all over. Or is it? One lap later, we roll on like a train. I'm the caboose. Lap after lap, four Pro 3 cars and an E46. What a hoot. I can't get by, but this sure feels like racing. Finally, I pass Eddie at turn two. For now, Eddie gets a good run out of 3D. I give him room, but he clips the FIA and launches sideways. He may have pooped himself. Later, he apologized, then loaded my tires and wheels onto my tire rack. He's a keeper. I catch the pack and have beef in my sides. Did beef double break there to throw me off? Either way, this is as close to beef as I've been this late in the race for a long time. Taking third in SPM behind former Pro 3 champs Andrew Newell and Sean Northrup is former Pro 3, now E46 driver, Rick Edwards. I continue to gain on beef, but chicken out at the wall. Maybe because he was a fighter pilot. You know what they do for a living, right? This time, Eddie makes the pass with ease at Mundus Terrace. Great driver, great kid. If we can get through this COVID thing, I think this country's going to be just fine. Though he is Lithuanian. Watch this move by the ground pounder. Crap, someone disconnected my horn. Last lap, don't be stupid. Hey, I didn't crash, make contact, go off track, or miss a shift or brake pedal. And I beat five Pro 3 drivers, finishing 14th. Fifth to first were Daniel Hovington, Jeff McCaffer, Corey Peters, Kevin Doyle, and Coley Tipton. Coley was almost a second slower than Saturday. I was nearly a second faster. Take that, Coley. Hopefully, we'll all be back for the next race, August 15th at PIR. Look at that flag salute. They do that for all the drivers? Thank <laughs> you.